Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So, what I have here are my push fit connectors for my tube on my Monoprice Mini Delta. So, well, I should say this one is. All right. So, it stopped gripping the tube. It actually, I came into a print that filled because the tube had pushed out and the filament was just everywhere. And I looked on Amazon and I could not find any that were, were on Prime because I'm really impatient. I just found third party sellers for seven to 10 days for the, specifically for the Monoprice price mini Delta. So since I'm impatient, I just ordered this right here. I actually came in a kit of all of this for $11. So extra tubes, extra grips, all that kind of jazz. And I just want essentially with the cheapest little kit and I was like you know what I'll make it work because I have some prints I need to do I need to get in here in two days so I went with this this push fitting right here and it had really good reviews so in this video I'm gonna see if I can do a makeshift thing where this actually works and see if this actually um, fits into it if I can find a way because there is a massive size difference right here as you can see so that's what this video is about, me figuring it out, because I am known for rigging things. So let's see how it goes. All right, we have my mini delta here, and I already have this taken apart. So I'm thinking I can put it, since this has grooves, I can fit this right in here, and then force this piece over it and see if it holds it. Well, my luck, it won't be that easy, but I'm giving that a shot first before I move on to anything else. Because like, Josh, why don't you just wait? Just wait for the part to come in. Now you guys probably right, I probably should, but whatever's clever. Let's see what I can do here. Let's crank this this way so I can screw it in. Oh, that don't work. Let me see if I can just leave that down and try to screw it. That didn't work. Oops. Try that to hold it in place this time. All right, have it held in place. Let's try to get this screwed down. All right, it's getting a little snug. Let's see, a little harder to screw. That is on there pretty tight. I'm gonna see if I can actually screw it a little bit yes it's screwing <clears throat> and it got tighter sweet dealio look at that folks so it it worked it's in there really snug I'm going to shove the tube in hopefully I don't have to replace all the, the replace the tubing too because it came with some but I don't want to really do that Yes, look at that snug fit. It worked. That's so awesome. All right, let me just um see if the filament just slides through freely. Look at that, it's in the tube. You see it going in and out of the tube? Yes, that is super snug and it is on there. Fantastic. So. Last step is to do a test print and we'll bounce right back over here. So here we go. All right, folks, I am back. And look at that. Print it out beautifully. Look at that. Man. So that new tube holder worked like a charm. So if you guys look at the video, you see how I did it. All I do is push it in there a little bit, held it in place, screwed it down and then use pliers to screw it tight because it actually made a, a they actually start screwing after that almost like self thread it and it works great man look at this so and i have extra oh this is 11 bucks so i have these i didn't replace the tubes so i still have these three tubes i doubt this a fit there's no way for me to force this on if the if the tube holder goes bad right where the nozzle is at i doubt i can use these but 
Um, these will probably fit on my CR-10, so it's still like a nice little bonus there. I believe those are about the same size as CR-10. And then I still have two extra ones. And these as well look about the exact size of my CR-10, I'm not sure. Um, it's actually just labeled 3D printer nozzle and it has the size on there. But I just went with what was cheap and what I can get in two days. And if it didn't work, I was going to send it back, but it worked like a charm, guys. So I'll put this in the link in the description below. On um, And it's essentially just a video on how to change your tube and if you don't want to wait for model price a second option if you don't want to wait for the ones that because like i said i looked all on amazon i could not find one that was two days if you don't want to go through this i guess you can always just if you're patient more patient than me you can always just wait for it to come in and uh <laughs> i guess it'll go a little easier for you but it wasn't too hard it wasn't too bad and i actually prefer how well this grips over the the other one, it's like it's so tight. Like you can feel it snap in there, and there's n just not getting it back. It's just such a, a big difference compared to the, the old one. Just the feel, like you can. Um, I don't explain, but if you have one, you know there's a little bit of give with this one. See how small it is, but the it just it's a difference. It's great, and like I said, this print came out fantastic, man. Um, I guess no better than normal, but printed well. Sweet, sweet. Because you guys know, I'm not sure if you know if there's the tube is kind of shifting back and forth as the film is going in, it can cause like little gaps inside the in the print. And then there's no little gaps if you can see here, everything printed well around. I mean, there's a little something here I can't see. I'm not sure if that was caused by it or not. You can see a little, but it's not actually a gap. I get a little closer. It's just like almost like a, a extra sheen or something shine to it, but. And there's another little shine there. I'm not sure if that was caused by the holes or not, because I don't have a print of this beforehand, but be before the, the change. But man, this hose clamp works great, guys. That is all for this video, guys. If you want to see more like this, please put comments below. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.